Hey guys, what's going on? In today's devotion, we are going to be taking a look at the link between our suffering and our success. I know nobody really wants to suffer. I know I don't, and I know you don't, but I think there's something in the scripture that we're going to be reviewing today that you'll find encouraging, and I hope that it offers a little bit of perspective um, for those times when you find yourselves in a position where you wouldn't normally choose to be, right? So we're going to be looking at the message version of the Bible today. Let's just jump right in. Romans 8, verses 16 through 18. We're starting at verse 16, and it says, God's spirit touches our spirits and confirms who we really are. We know who he is, and we know who we are, father and children, and we know we're going to get what's coming to us, and that's an unbelievable inheritance. We go through exactly what Christ goes through. If we go through the hard times with him, then we're certainly going to go through the good times with him. That's why I don't think, and this is verse 18, that's why I don't think there's any comparison between the present hard times and the coming good times. Check it out, fam. None of us want to suffer. I know that there's there's times, particularly in this season, where we find ourselves in positions that we wouldn't prefer to be in, right? But I just wanted to remind you today that this world is not all that there is, right? I'm definitely not encouraging you to leave this world or exit this world any earlier than you need to. But I just wanted to remind you that earth is just temporary, right? It's a temporary thing. And so we come through here and I believe that the majority of our life experience serves to purify our hearts. And so we're just going through a purification process here, right? So we run into hard times, right? And there's good times. That's because some translations of the Bible say, if we suffer with God, then we'll reign with him. You can't have one without the other. C.S. Lewis says it this way, if I find in myself longings that n- which nothing in this world can satisfy, then the only logical explanation is that I was made for another world. I want to tell you that you are okay and you are on your way, no matter how bad it gets for you. I want to encourage you that good times are coming and you saw it here in the Bible. You guys have a great day.